So I asked to determine the components of the support reactions at the fixed support A on the cantilevered beam and signs for all the answers are as per the convention. So positive X, positive Y direction and also positive moment direction. So to start this off, we're going to draw the free body diagram and draw in the equivalent support reactions, um, which are here at the fixed support. So let's quickly pop this in. So carrying across the external forces, Alright, and now we need the support reactions here. So it's fixed, that means it reacts with a horizontal, a vertical and a moment reaction. So thinking about the directions, this is the only force that has a X component and it's in the positive X direction. So I'm going to assume that the reaction needs to be the opposite. Both of these forces are going down, so I'm going to assume that the reaction is back the other way. Draw it up. And I'm going to assume that these are going to try and pull the beam um, this way to rotate it. So it's going to have to be the opposite for it uh, to react against. Just remember that if you get the wrong direction out, it's going to be a negative in the answers and you'll know to flip the arrow over. All right, so now what we need to do is apply our equilibrium equations. So let's start with summing forces and I'll go with the x direction. So in the x direction, we have this one, which we call negative x. And then we have part of this one, which is positive. So plus is going to be the cos component is equal to zero. So if you type that in a calculator, you get that it's equal to 3.46 kilonewtons. And it comes out positive, which means the direction was correct. So this is definitely 3.46 kilometers to the left, kilonewtons, sorry, to the left. All right, so let's apply our next equilibrium equation, which is summing forces in the y direction. So we've got Ay going up, we have six going down, and we have part of this one going down. So it's gonna be the sine side of the triangle. So if you type this into a calculator, you can find that Ay is equal to eight um, kilonewton, sorry. And it comes out positive, which means again, the direction was correct. So it is upwards. So now we can apply our last equilibrium equation, which is that sum of moments is equal to zero. And we need to pick a point to sum about. Now I would suggest that the easiest point to pick would be this one on the end here, which we've called A, simply because we have two forces acting through it. So they're both not gonna appear in the equation. And then we'll just have these others to deal with. But it's really up to you, um, any point will work. So if we sum moments about A, remembering that anti-clockwise is treated as the positive direction, we said AX and AY are out. So the next one we can consider is the actual moment reaction. And we've drawn this in the clockwise direction. So that means it needs to go in the equation as negative. We've then got the six kilonewtons acting at a distance in here, which we can get as 1.5. And this is gonna rotate negative. And then we're going to need to split this one up. So let's start with looking at the horizontal component. So that's going to be for um, cos 30. And then we need to multiply it by its distance from its line of action here back to point A. So that's basically going to be this side of the, the triangle that we can draw here. So it's going to be the opposite. So it'll be 1.5 sine 30. Pop that in. And in terms of the direction for this horizontal part rotating about A, it's going to try and rotate it around to be clockwise. So it's going to be negative. So now we'll consider the vertical part here. So the size of it is going to be for uh, sine 30 degrees in here. And then we need to multiply it by the distance from its line of action all the way back to A, so this um, horizontal distance uh, in here. So the total distance um, from here all the way back, it's going to be 1.5 plus 1.5 plus we need this extra little bit in here, which is the horizontal side of that triangle, which we can get from the cos um, of the angle. So the last thing that we need is the direction. So this vertical part is going to also try and push um, clockwise, sorry. So it's going to be negative. 
And what I can see is I've accidentally drawn this the wrong way. It's going to come out as a negative value. That was a bit bad on my assumptions. So it's going to come out to negative 20.2. And the units are kilonewton meters. So the negative is telling me I have the wrong direction. So actually, it's this way. Let's write out our final answer. So we need to take into account the sign convention, um, so positive and negative directions. So AX, this is in the negative direction. So we're looking for the answer where it's equal to negative 3.46 kilonewtons. And we can see we have two options here. AY, it's drawn upwards. So we're looking for a positive 8 kilonewtons. Um, we've still got two answers potentially here. And the last one is MA, and this is drawn in the anti-clockwise direction, so it needs to be positive for the answer we're looking for. So looking through here, I think we have um, this one is going to be the answer. So that's B. And that's all there is for the question.